What's up guys, it's Thomas here. Welcome to another Mac tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing how you can easily change the application icons on your Mac running macOS Catalina or below. It's a pretty easy process and we're about to get into it. Alright guys, so changing your app icon is actually pretty easy. Um, so obviously the first step is going to be to download the image you want from Google Images. So since a lot of people are into uh, Apple's old skeuomorphism design, I'm using one of those designs and I'm going to change my pages icon to this one. The next step, uh, if your image does not already have a transparent background, mine does, but if it doesn't, then you're going to want to go over to this website called remove.bg and just upload your image here. You don't need an account or anything, it's completely free and will automatically remove the background. Uh, so once you have a uh, image with a transparent background, you're going to go to this website to convert it to an icon file. It's called anyconv.com, the link is in the description below. And you're just going to click choose file. And I'm going to drag over my icon and I'm going to click open and make sure it's selected to convert to an ICNS file because that's the icon file that Mac uses and hit convert. Uh, once it's converted, just download the ICNS file. All right, guys, if you're still here, I'd like to ask you to please take a couple seconds to hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested in more tech content, then hit the bell notification to be notified whenever we upload another video. All right, guys, we really do appreciate you taking the time to do that. So let's get back to the content you came here for. And now we're going to open up Finder. And we're going to go to our Applications folder. And to actually change the icon, let me find Pages. You're going to right-click on Pages. And you're going to click Get Info. Then you're going to drag your icon file over and up into where it has the pages icon in the top left corner of that info tab. It may ask you for your password or your touch ID. I'm just going to do that. And now my icon has changed and it changes system wide. As you can see, it's right here. Let me quit this and you can reopen it. And there it is. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them below, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.